we made a, a promise um, years ago, actually in 1997, we made a promise to a group of chimpanzees that we were going to get them out of their terrible form of confinement and take them back to the forest. And we fulfill that promise now for the 64 chimpanzees who live here. But I want to make another promise to some of them, and that's that they're going to be living free one day. We're located in rural Africa, rural central Africa. Uh, we came deep into the forest. Um, none of it, there's some small villages around here, but none of them have running water or electricity. So when we came here, we had to bring our electricity with us. So uh, we have electric enclosures that encircle tracts of forest, and all the, the electricity comes from solar panels and batteries. Um, we don't have running water. Um, we've dammed a, a stream and we um, then pump water into the camp from the stream, so we have plenty of water, um, but it, we don't have modern plumbing by any means. We um, use an a outdoor pit latrine. But it's beautiful, a beautiful place, and um, we get to be with the chimps in, in an environment that's natural for them, and uh, that's a, a wonderful thing. We have big satellite cages uh, where they eat and where they spend the night. And then we have, we've encircled tracts of forest with electric fencing, and so they spend their days out in the forest. All of the chimpanzees here are orphans of this thriving illegal bushmeat trade in Cameroon. And um, they're, the common thread among all the, the residents here is that their mothers were killed while they were still clinging uh, infants, and they were taken captive by the hunters that killed their mothers. And uh, then they were sold as tourist attractions or pets. Um, and, uh, some we rescued very soon after they were taken from the forest, and others languished in you know, horrible forms of captivity for decades before we were able to rescue them. And we work with the, the government of Cameroon, the Ministry of Forestry and Wildlife, to confiscate uh, the, ch the illegally held chimpanzees because it is illegal to hold a chimpanzee um, of any age. So we, um, we at least have the law on our side, but um, the enforcement of the laws against killing, uh, capturing, eating, buying, selling, and holding captive are very inadequately enforced. Although um, we have enabled the government to enforce the laws to a greater extent, than they were able to before because now they can go in and, and confiscate an illegally held chimpanzee and they have a place to, to take him or her, whereas before they wouldn't be able to, to take one. The best way to help our situation here in Cameroon is to provide financial resources for the people who are here working on the ground. And what we do here at Sanaga Young Center is expensive. Most of these chimpanzees are going to outlive me. And right now we're just funding the, the center from year to year. And we really need to have funding for many years in advance. So it's, um, it's a constant worry. And um, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about how we're going to get what we need to support these chimpanzees. Not only do we uh, support the chimpanzees here at the sanctuary, but it's very important to us to um, try to work to, to stop the influx of orphans, to stop the killing and the orphaning. And so our education programs, and uh, including a media campaign um, that we've been running since 2002, that all of those things are expensive and they're very, very important. Habitat destruction is another big threat, but the most immediate is the bushmeat trade. As I've worked with the, the chimpanzees here over the years, I've come to realize that chimpanzees do not belong in captivity. They're the last animal that belongs in captivity, and they should be living free in the forest as a people. 
and Defense of Animals Africa is collaborating with two other organizations in Cameroon. We're collaborating under a group that we call the Chim uh, Cameroon Chimpanzee Reintroduction Group. And we're working in partnership with the Cameroon government. And we've just started looking for a site in Cameroon that could serve as a reintroduction site. I mean, sometimes I'll, I question what, I've, what I'm doing here. And I question um, the, the sanity of it all. And, um, and I think about other things I might be doing um, to live a, a full life. But I know at the end of my life, I'm going to look back and know that I've done something that was important. And maybe we're going to change the face of things in Cameroon. Uh, maybe we're going to play an important role in changing this bushmeat trade. Maybe we're going to get set, we're going to have a successful reintroduction project. But it, what I know for sure is that the chimpanzees who are living at Sanag Young Center are having a good life and they would, that they would have not had otherwise. And so that makes it worthwhile for me when I go. And I just, at the end of every day, I try to, to spend an hour just sitting with them. And, um, and sometimes I think if, um, if I have nothing else in my life but this hour that I spend with the chimps at the end of every day when they're tired and getting ready to go to sleep, then my life is pretty damn good.